Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's YouTube video, we're going to be turning in around 2,000 Essence of Dawning to try and get a god roll of this Glacial Chasm. Right now, I have a pretty good roll here. We got high impact reserves, uh, but what I would really like would be the accelerated coils on this bad boy, because I think that would be nasty. Uh, killing wind under pressure, or maybe even surplus would be pretty good. Uh, definitely, there's a lot of different perks that could be better than field prep, though. But So that's the goal we're looking for with the Glacial Chasm. The cold front, you know, Dragonfly is super broken on a kinetic weapon, so that's kind of cool. I'll take anything, one of them that gets Dragonfly. And going it down to the Avalanche, we have uh, the Avalanche with auto-loading, and I would probably want auto-loading Dragonfly or Outlaw Dragonfly, to just pretty much just an add clear weapon. I still don't even think it would be that much viable in PvE, but I'll take it anyways. You know, it's better than nothing. So that's what I'm going to try and do, and let's go ahead and uh, transfer all of these Essence of Dawning into cookies right now. And yes, I have just masterworked my oven, so that is a big feels good. So here we go, we have about 1,744 Essence of Dawning, and I have a bunch of packages that are sitting at Eva Levante waiting for me, so I'll pick those up from Eva after I give all these to Zer, so roughly about 2,000 in total. And so many, many mouse clicks later, we have now used up all of the Essence of Dawning. Now it's time to turn these bad boys into Zer. Let's see what goods we get. And out of all of these, I'm gonna count the number of gifts in return that I get. I don't know how many I can stack in here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hammer these home. I imagine I should probably stop at some point. Hopefully these are stacking, right? These are definitely stacking. Where are they at? Gifts, four of them. Okay, I got four so far. This will also work as a test video of how many of these can I stack at one point in time. I'm gonna turn in a ton of these and then I'm gonna clear out my inventory. And then we'll turn in like 10 of those packages at a time. It'll be epic. Ooh, we are getting so many. Oh my gosh, that is so much freaking loot. I actually have to clear my inventory off already. Here we go. I'll be right back. And now that I've cleared all that crap off of my inventory, now let's just go ahead and turn in a ton of these and see what we get. We got eight gifts in return right now. And one, we got a cold front. We got a glacial chasm, a cold front, an avalanche, another avalanche. No, no more avalanches. What the? I just used a pure map. Oh my God. I almost just deleted a fucking stack of enhancement cores like before. Bungo, fix your shit. Stop with the avalanches. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. We got two, looks like we got two cold fronts, three glacial chasms, and three avalanches. Let's start here. We got underdog and surrounded. Underdog is such a sad perk. We do not want this at all. Surrounded is pretty fire though. I'll delete that. And quick draw unrelenting. No, that's not going to be very good. We'll delete that. And we got slide shot, auto loading holster. Feels bad. We definitely, definitely need the high impact reserves. Uh, I even have my best roll equipped on my character there to compare. A slide shot swashbuckler. No. And slide shot unrelenting. Feels bad. We did not get another god roll glacial chasm for avalanche. We, we're looking for that auto loading. We're just mostly just looking for some dragonfly. And looks like we got no dragonfly anywhere to be found. So we'll just delete all three of these. And uh, so far, we've come up short, but we'll keep turning them in. We'll see what we can get. Going back to Zer, let's turn these bad boys in. I like that you just get open world drops from this. This is pretty good. This will actually give you a good amount of uh, glimmer, materials, shards. Really a lot of stuff, actually. Um, let's see if I actually can get any good open world drops. If I do get any god world guns, I'll definitely make sure to give you a, a notice of it. Because, you know, that'd be dope. All right, and so let's look at the inventory. Wow, my inventory filled up again. Obviously, you can get some, you know, god roll armor. Let's see what weapons we got in here, though. Uh, the only respectable weapon, we could have got a good long shadow out of that. Uh, the Iklos SMG, the Iklos Sniper is pretty fire. But other than that, not really anything too crazy you could get from those. So let's go ahead and clear this inventory again, and I'll turn in some more of those, or open some more of those packages after. Oh, and you can get the Memory of Cade mark here. That is awesome. All right, now that I got everything cleared off of here, let's go ahead and see how many. We got 11 gifts in return to turn in here. All right, let's do this. We got an avalanche. Please stop with the avalanches. Why? Glacier Chasm, Cold Front. It's what? Dude, I don't understand this video game. Why does it rearrange the position there? It's just, it's adding material, so it's changing it. That has to be one of the dumbest features I could ever imagine you put in the game. It gets me every time too. I fall for it every time. All right, so we got a under pressure thresh roll. We can delete that. A quick draw one for all roll is kind of fire. This new one for all perk is really saucy damage bonus. So I will keep that one. And another quick draw thresh. What's with all these quick draw rolls, eh? Um, thresh is really underwhelming right now. It might be better in the future, but 
now I think I'll probably delete that one because Quickdraw doesn't have the best synergy with it. Um, oh, wow. We got high impact reserves and liquid coils with this, which is definitely not it. Um, but that is a good one with high impact reserves, so I'll keep that for now. Another high impact reserves with surplus. Oh, my, and accelerated coils. Range masterwork. Oh my god. Let's go. Lock this quickly. That is a god roll right there. Oh my god. Under pressure on this one and auto loading. Damn. It doesn't have the high impact reserves, but that hurts. That's a really good one too. I think I will. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll keep it for now. And this one's not very good at all. We can delete this one. Damn, that's crazy. All right, let's see. We got. Oh, we did get a dragonfly roll. Here we go. It's got grave robber to go with the. Definitely not the best perk uh, on a machine gun, Grave Robber, but, you know, it's an ad clear weapon, so I'll keep it for now, I think. All right, so things are looking much better from this run from the last one. Let's go ahead and uh, turn some more of these cookies in. Oh, boy. Like the lotto machine here, dude. It's just fucking lit up with just stuff endlessly. The loot just raining down from the heavens. So much loot it literally fills my character's inventory. All that dawning spirit. All right. Truth Teller drops. Not bad. I think I'll probably stop there and clear my inventory out. Yep, definitely need to clear the inventory out. We've now got absolutely everything cleared off of here. So let's go ahead and uh, turn and open some of these more bad boys. See what we get. Please, no more aval. Oh my. It literally, look at that. Look what it just did. It tried to make me delete a stack of 1,000 enhancement cores. Stop with the avalanches and stop with moving this item around. Why? I have to pay close attention to this. It's like I want to pay attention to what drops, but I more importantly don't want to delete some like insanely important consumables in this inventory here. All right, here we go. We got some cold fronts here. Under pressure, unrelenting. That's definitely a Yetus Deletus. I can go. Um, wow, this is a crazy roll here. Surplus and surrounded. Woo! That is a nasty ad clear. We'll definitely lock that bad boy. Um, Dynamic Sway Rampage with Accurize, Hammer Forged, and Range. This is a this is probably fucking beast in Crucible. Wow, I cannot believe the rolls I've just got just now. It sounds like such a good roll for Crucible. Oh, right. I'll have to go take that into a Crucible game soon here. Uh, under pressure, surrounded. Yeah, we can just delete that. We can just delete that one. All right, back to the Glacier Chasm. See if we got. Uh, I did get this truth teller, this open world truth teller from the drop, and this is actually pretty nasty, but uh, we'll go to the Glacier Chasm. Healing Wind and Surrounded. Um, not the best. So we'll delete that one. And we're back to these avalanches. We got Grave Robber, Dragonfly. We got two of them with Grave Robber, Dragonfly now. Great. Oh, three with Grave Robber, Dragonfly. Oh, good. good. Just in case he didn't, just in case two wasn't enough. All right, perfect. And then we have Auto Loading and Vorpal, which machine guns are absolutely terrible at boss damage so you, you probably wouldn't want to use this for a warp pool on a boss maybe on a champion um so i might keep that one because that auto loading is really nasty perk so maybe it'll have some application somewhere but for the most part i highly doubt ever using that thing all right now let's turn in the last bit of cookies we have here to zer we got 26 left so it shouldn't be too much more and then we'll be able to see what the final loot haul is overall we'll do a complete recap of everything this is a lot of cookies. I mean, by the time this is done, Zer is going to be in a diabetic coma from all these damn cookies. He's going to be absolutely obese. There it is. We got everything turned in. Now let's go see what we got here. Uh, no more cold fronts dropped for me at all. So that's a big sad. Uh, no more glacier chasms dropped for me at all from that. Another big sad. Looks like we got uh, no more avalanches either. So no weapons at all. In terms of armor, we got... Some legendary armor, really not very good. The legendary armor is not dropping too hot. Except this one's got 28 discipline, which is kind of insane, but uh, not other the other stats aren't very good. And so that's that. That's the entirety of that loot haul. Let me go turn in the last bit I have to Eva, and that'll be a wrap. All right, so here we are at Eva. Let's turn in this last bit we got here. Um, oh, that was it. Oh, well, I completely miscalculated that altogether, and I thought Eva had a bunch of packages waiting for me, but she did not. So this will be everything I got from the Luha. I was looking for Dragonfly Cold Fronts because that broken perk on a kinetic weapon. We got exactly zero Dragonfly Cold Fronts from that crazy amount of cookie loot haul. 
Uh, but we did get this one for all roll. We got this insane surrounded roll. I'm not disappointed with this at all. And we got this dynamic sway rampage roll. Great for crucible. For the glacial chasm, I was looking for the high impact reserves with the accelerated coils. And we got one with high impact reserves and accelerated coils. Also got this auto loading under pressure one. And another one with high impact reserves. So not too bad. And the avalanche was looking for that dragonfly roll with outlaw or auto loading holster. And we got the grave robber, triple grave robber roll. So. You know, it is what it is. That's my RNG. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Let me know if you out there have gotten the God Rolled Cold Front or the God Rolled Glacial Chasm. If you haven't, there's still time left as the time of making this video. Get out to grinding, bake those cookies, and turn them in. Masterwork those ovens. And make sure to subscribe to this channel with notifications on. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.